Azure Bastion turns the Azure portal into a jump host so that you can remote into your VMs securely. And all you need to do is just build your Bastion resource alongside a public IP address on a dedicated subnet called the Azure Bastion subnet, and you are ready to go. But the problem is many of you have said that you don't want public IP addresses in your environment for any reason which is understandable because attaching a public IP address to your VMs opens them up for all kinds of potential attacks. And that all makes your security folks nervous. And that makes me wonder, what if we just got rid of the public IP and made your own private only bastion? So let's start with the most obvious thing. We'll just delete this public IP address, then go back to your VMs, connect using bastion, put in your creds, and thanks for what? Okay, so that didn't work. What went wrong? Well, Bastion is normally configured to connect over the internet, which is why it needs a public IP, but that's okay, we can fix this. We just need a different Bastion. During your build, do everything as you always would. Subscription, resource group, name. For your tier, you're gonna wanna use premium. Then you pick your virtual network and your Azure Bastion subnet. And then down here, we have a new option and you can use the private IP setting. Click next and on the advanced screen, you wanna select copy paste because that'll always make your life easier. IP based connections, which is gonna make this whole thing work. And while you're at it, select the native client and shareable links just for something special. Click next, add your tags like you always do and create. Now, once everything's built, you wanna to go to the left and check out your configuration and it should look like this. And now we can give this another try. Just go back to your VM, hit connect, select Bastion, put in your creds and... Okay, I think I know what's wrong. We, we actually, we need one more thing, a connection. And that means we're talking about an express route with private peering or a VPN. Now I have unified gear in my network so I can just go to my settings and then to the VPN section and if there's a hard part, and I'm not saying that there is, it's getting all of these settings just right to match your virtual network gateway and your local network gateway. And then you just need to include what remote networks you wanna be connected with. So with that done, back to your VM one more time, hit connect, select Bastion, put in your creds, and we are in. And this even works within those new Azure private subnets, which completely block internet access. And if you wanna learn more about how you master the cloud, you should check out my new book, now available on Amazon, The Ultimate Azure IaaS Infrastructure Management Guide, linked right here and in the video description below. But the fun doesn't stop there. You could connect using the native RDP or SSH clients. For that, you need to run a script like this and just fill in those details. When you run it, that'll open your native client and then you are connected. Another option is a shareable link and that way you don't have to run a script at all. In Bastion, go to shareable links on the left, click add at the top, and then you wanna select here for which resource group your VMs live in, check the box for the ones you wanna create a link for, and click apply. Now you can just click and copy the link, paste it into a new browser tab, sign in with the same credentials, and you are good to go. Now, if you're really sharp, you probably still have one big question that you want me to answer and I will do that in just one second. First, let's recap what we have so far. To make private only Bastion work, you need the Azure Bastion subnet, and it's okay if that's a private subnet, it'll still work. You're also going to need a VPN or express route to connect your on-prem to the cloud. Then you build the new premium Bastion resource, select the private IP option, enable these features, and you are good to go. So now what's the big question? Well, why would you want any of this? Like, here's exactly what I mean. I have a VPN from my on-prem into Azure. I can already RDP to my VMs directly without using Bastion. So why would Microsoft invent this feature and why would you ever wanna use it? Well, that's a great question and I'm glad you asked. All of the feedback that I've seen for Bastion falls into two big buckets. Everybody thought Bastion was great, but half of you thought it was just too expensive. And the other half wanted more features, which is like wanting the cheapest car in the world, which is also the fastest car in the world. 
So today, doing the impossible, there are now multiple SKUs of Bastion for you to pick from, from the free developer all the way up to premium. So you have the freedom to just pick any SKU that you want that has the features you need. And at the bottom here, there are two features that many of you have been requesting for a long time. Private only connections, removing that public IP address, and using screen recording. Now using Bastion Premium over direct IP is a best practice if you're in a high security or highly regulated environment like banks, healthcare, power and other utilities, etc. Where lots of auditing takes place and security is the top priority. Everything can be kept private and you also get graphical session recording. And if you have ever been the victim of a cyber attack, you know that you have to spend weeks or months of forensics to dig through everything to figure out what the bad guys did. Well, now it's all just tracked for you and stored in a separate storage account for you to review whenever you need. And if you wanna see how that works, you can click over here and watch that video. Or if you wanna know about how Azure is taking away internet access, you're gonna want that video. Happy learning.